Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to talk about 21 CFR Part 11 compliance, which is the FDA regulation on electronic records and electronic signatures. First, what is Part 11? Part 11 deals with records. It describes the criteria to allow paper records to be replaced with electronic records. It discusses signatures. It describes the criteria to allow handwritten signatures to be replaced with electronic signatures. And all this is predicated that the computer system housing the records and signature is validated according to standard computer system validation procedures. Now, Part 11 is composed of procedural and technical requirements. We will discuss both. It's important to understand that there are two parts, procedural and technical requirements. Many companies go to outside companies to purchase a Part 11 compliant program. They should keep in mind that these programs that are purchased can only satisfy the technical requirements, the computer system requirements. They cannot satisfy the procedural requirements. These must be implemented by the purchasing company. And we'll discuss what's involved with that. We're going to talk today about the original regulation, which led to a lot of confusion and, and the later FDA interpretation of that regulation. We'll discuss the SOPs that are necessary to have a procedural compliant system. We'll discuss the criteria for electronic records. We'll talk about a hybrid system, which is part paper, part electronic. Now we'll discuss the risk-based approach to compliance. We'll talk about what an order trail is and the criteria to have an order trail, system access requirements, electronic signatures, the validation, the responsibilities of the system administrator, who is an important person in this situation, and the training that's required to be Part 11 compliant. Starting in 1997, FDA issued a Part 11 regulation. And their intent was to encourage use of computers. However, they wrote their regulations without much industry input and the uh, rules were way too restrictive. Industry complained, and the FDA, after starting, acknowledged that the rules, as written, will restrict implementation of electronic technology. That was in 2003. It really was the intent to encourage use in the new technology. So in September of 2003, the FDA issued a guidance. Now, the regulation is still in effect. It's a law. The document issued in 2003 is a guidance, which allows for interpretation of the regulation. But the guidance is not law. The guidance narrowed the interpretation of the law so that fewer records will be subject to Part 11. Originally in the law, all records that passed through a computer were subject to Part 11. But now they are in narrowing that interpretation. They also, in the guidance, said that they will exercise enforcement discretion on some requirements, meaning that they will not enforce some of the restrictive requirements that are in the law. 